What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today working on my Gen 8 from Red Cat. Kind of go over the parts real quick here as far as to what I'll be using just because of the carnage that happened when I was uh, bashing this thing. And I'll put a link in the very end or I'll, you know, as far as the videos so you guys can click on that if you haven't seen it. But let's kind of go over a little bit of the carnage that's here. Uh, there was a little bit of a plastic piece that raises up out of here and that's what actually this other part of this housing slips over. And since it's a very thin piece of plastic that's there, it snapped and it was the weak spot. And there was actually a drive shaft that was in there. That came out, got lost, so I had to order one of those as well. Anyway, moving on to the front here. So this thing just spins. It's because of the fact that this little front uh, portal CVA input gear, it chipped. So that's why it does what it does. Nothing else is damaged on that part of it. This thing took a lot of abuse considering how much I was jumping it and everything like that. Every time I jumped it, I was like, wow, it's still holding together. So anyway, uh, and it's not designed for that in the first place, it's a trail truck. So let's get started on fixing this thing up so we can get it back on the road. It does have a 5,800 kV motor that's in there and I'm not gonna put the big tires back on it, but I am gonna keep the 5,800 kV in there because it's definitely fun to run. And uh, but I just won't put big tires on there. I think that's where a lot of the punishment came from and me jumping it. So I'm not gonna really do any jumping on this thing anymore. Maybe, we'll see. But anyway. Let's get this thing fixed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and work on the front here. So we got our part number and everything. So if you're looking for that, anyway, that's the front portal CVA input gear with pin, because I'm gonna need just one of those. Anyway, let's get to work. All right, so got our good one here. Just put a little bit of grease in there. And then here's our bad one with the chip and everything. If you can see that. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, reassemble everything. But when you're doing so, you gotta kinda keep in mind as, you gotta pull this, this is the drive shaft out. So I'll need to, well, just to show you. So anyway, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, insert this thing, now that it's got grease in there. And you gotta put that pen through there, so that way it's, Days. So then you're good to go on that part of it. Then just go ahead and you can kind of see it a little bit from that distance. But I gotta get this bearing on here. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna slide that over. Not a big deal. That way basically it will lock in that pen as well. So we're good on that part of it. And if you can see. that back in nice and smooth we'll go ahead and put the other gears back in all right so I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble So we're good again. I did have to remove the linkage, the steering linkage here to get that back on. So just in case you guys know, uh, didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, you have to do that because it was very hard or impossible without taking that off there. It made things more complicated to try to do it with the steering linkage on there. So anyway, that's what I had to do. So let's go ahead, let's keep going on the, on the rear. Okay, on to the next here is a, uh, so we got our portal center gear housing. So we gotta tear that apart. That's basically everything that's here. So taking this piece off of here, taking all these linkages off, drive shaft, the uh, gear cover case, the shocks, the shock on least on the other side. So there's quite a bit to do. So let's go ahead, let's get to work on that. Thank you. 
All right, just want to give you a heads up too. These screws, the round head screws, these M214s, these are not correct. Um, so I use the old ones. They were a little bent, but um, also it still worked out just fine. But this portal piece here, I had to replace that. So portal housing set. So anyway, I needed to use that because the one that's in here wasn't really round. You can kind of see. And it was binding on the drive shaft. I was like, man, this thing is really not smooth. And I was like, ah, I tried to put a little bit of lubricant in there just to smooth it up. And it wasn't good. So I ended up just replacing that one. So anyway, that's that. So there's quite a few parts that had to be replaced. I mean, as you can see. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble everything, get this thing going. But just want to kind of let you guys know in regards to that part of it, since that is the wrong part number for those screws. If you needed them anyhow, just kind of give you a heads up. All right, guys, all good to go. I didn't use the, the rear bumper or anything like that. And those screws, obviously, those were not the right ones to go into the, the housing of this thing here anyway, which was the um, portal housing. So I just said, well, I'll just use the same screws. They're a little bent, a little bit, not bad. So I went ahead and did that since I got the wrong screws. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys found this informative. And until next time, it's Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching. Check out OMGRC for all your hobby goodness. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, it's Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care.